All right. Here we go. Hi, everybody. It's me, Sailor Earth. A.K. Ernest here. Or Ernest P. Worrell. And today... And today, here's one thing we got to talk about. Now, some people might ask the question... Um, honest question, but... Here it goes. Why did we... Why do we... Okay. Do... Is there support... Me as Sailor Earth. Okay. Now this video might make no sense, but again, it might make some sense. Now, when I first came around, the idea of me as Sailor Earth, was there a lot of support for it? That might be what it was. Yeah. Nick2021, also known as the Asteroid Outlaw at one point, was very supportive of me as Sailor Earth. He, um, Always thought it would be fun to see a real life person or one fictional person in an animated world. That was always how, that's how we put it. And then there was Michael Loggy86, who was very open minded to the idea. You know, he felt that it could work, you know. And then there was I be, and then I believe we had multiple accounts from there, but, you know, and then there was, well, another support. Adam and Kate were very supportive. You may remember them. They were the husband and wife Sailor Moon fans on YouTube at one point. Eans and Megan was also very supportive. And from all her various accounts, Include, you know, including, um, Mooncastle, whatever the, uh, username or title of the channel might be. She always felt that anybody could be a sailor soldier, regardless of one's gender or not. So, there's always been a history of, you know, at least some people being open minded to it and supportive of it. But, there were also people who, criticized it. There were two reviewers or on Daily Motion and by the way, they basically tried to claim they criticized it, claimed it was all kinds of things. At one point they even claimed that me being Sailor Earth was some random act. And then there was some other individual who criticized it who claimed that I could not come on here and pass it off as canon, or I could not, or I had to explain to him why I chose it. Now, some of the diehard Sailor Moon fans, and there are a lot of them, hardcore Sailor Moon fans, some people out there might say, well, Nako Takaguchi made a rule only Sinjis can, only girls can be Sinjis. Or scouts, or warriors, or soldiers, or guardians. Fill in the blank, whatever sounds good for you. Um, yeah, but that was only for like the anime, or the manga, or the stage musicals, or the video games. But as far as what you, as far as fan fiction or making videos on YouTube was concerned, you didn't really have to follow that rule. And what would happen if she found out that somebody had made a fake, a fictionist, a fictional uh, Sailor Earth. You know, it wasn't like it was some law or rule that I was going to get in trouble for. Now, some of you people might think, geez, I didn't know Sailor Earth was a, a big deal. I mean, I was. Now, some people might say, then where does that put Tuxedo Mass at? Where does that put Darien at? Well, in the past life, we were brothers. Sailor Earth being the guardian of the planet, and um, where Prince Earth was the guardian of the planet in the past, put it that way. And Prince Endymion ruled it, but he wasn't the guardian of it, if it made any sense. So, yes, you know, So, yeah, but the point is, I've been, there's been a lot of support as me as Sailor Earth. 
And now I gotta go now. I'm Sailor Earth, Ernest P. Laurel. Hope you enjoyed this video. Know what I mean?